I think this one was almost 69%, 70% of water saving. Crop physiologist Avat Shakufa keeps tabs on a soybean crop that's purposefully been mistreated. These plants are under the canopy of a rainout shelter, just like the name says, built to keep the rain out. These soybeans haven't seen a drop of moisture since July. Nine varieties are being tested under two rainout shelters at UT's Ag Research Center in Jackson. Some are doing well, others are gone. The difference between them in uh, how green and how turgid they are, uh, some of them and some of them how wilted they are, like very quickly, like by middle of, I can say, uh, July. But that was the idea, to watch them wilt. Shakufa studies which soybean varieties perform best under the stress of drought. That's valuable information for farmers who see rainfall amounts vary greatly from year to year. If you have too much drought, so why not going for a variety that still can survive, still can give you um, benefit of growth and yield compared to the one that after a while is gone. Like, it cannot handle that drought. A plant makes a comeback every night. When temperatures drop and humidity rises, there's a bit of a recovery, but it's only temporary. When the warm sun comes back out, plants can start wilting again. So we're going to look at the average of everything that by the end of season. UT Ag researchers here are measuring the rate of recovery and wilting and will soon collect yield data after the fall harvest. But as expected, they already know some varieties are surviving better than others. You want some losers and winners, mm -hmm. you know, and so uh, that, that tells you that you've got a, a test going, you know, if you've got some that's not holding up and some that are, then we can try to look at the good techniques and bring those together. Farmers hope for timely rain, but that's never a guarantee, especially in Tennessee, where 95% of soybeans are rain-fed. To get a good idea of what a plant can do, sometimes you have to envision a worst-case scenario because that's exactly what can happen in tough years. This is Charles Denny reporting.